Hot tea's always been popular across the pod, but it's taken a while for it to start catching on in our part of the world, where we prefer our tea ice cold and full of sugar. Hot tea's not only soothing, but it has a variety of health benefits. Dr. Milady Murphy's here from Shelton State's Health and Wellness Center to tell us more. Dr. Murphy, it's nice to see you. Always a pleasure, Danny. You know, for centuries, China and the East mm -hmm. have always used tea for medicinal purposes. Mm -hmm. What we're recently finding out about hot tea, mm -hmm. uh, by, and, and in fact, the research was done at Tufts University uh, in the Department of Nutrition and Aging in studying the components or the nutrients of how tea slows down the aging process as it relates to disease. Huh. And what they found out, there are about six different types of teas. Mm -hmm. But the best out of all of them is green tea in regulating blood sugar, having a positive effect on lowering blood pressure, lowering uh, lipids, you know, like elevated cholesterol, mm -hmm. uh, having a positive effect on that. And, and just recently, uh, some studies have shown that green tea may even prevent certain forms of cancer. Wow. That's very impressive. It, it's very powerful. And, you know, there's about five or six different types of tea. Mm -hmm. You've got green tea, you've got white tea, you've got oolong tea, mm -hmm. black tea, and a red tea. Mm -hmm. And I may have forgotten one other, but those basically are the teas that we, we can drink that are hot tea, as you said, and you're correct. But the, the research and white tea, did I say you white You said tea? white tea. Okay, good. Because you can combine white tea with green tea. You, you forgot you sweet a, tea. That's, that's the big there, one. That's the tea I knew you were going to uh, like. Ah, yes. But, you know, the, the <clears throat> warm tea, if done correctly uh, and drunk maybe two to three times a day, green tea mm. is said to have those powerful antioxidant effect in slowing down the disease process that we just mentioned for the body. And that's what they were studying, and that's what they have proven that green tea is, is best for. Now, when we go out and we look at teas in the store, and, I, and I'm guilty of doing this because I've, I've had, I've dabbled in hot tea from time to time. Just dabbled, That's dabbled good. a bit here and there. There's all these colorful boxes, and you can get the different kinds of tea, you know, white tea with a mango sort of twist to it, and you can get them in caffeinated and decaffeinated varieties. Some of them are naturally decaffeinated. Right. All of them are naturally caffeinated. Right. So I'm just wondering do we want to do the most primitive kind of green tea that we can find? Just green tea, inbox, no flavors, haven't been tampered with as far as caffeination goes. Uh, you make an excellent point, an excellent question. There's so many things to Does, choose from. Any of those teas, like green tea, white mm -hmm. tea fusion, mm -hmm. uh, black tea, however they want to fuse them all together, mm -hmm. those are all powerful in antioxidants, mm -hmm. green tea still being the best. Okay. The, the key is when it becomes processed, mm -hmm when they've added sugar mm -hmm. and other types of ingredients in the process, flavoring process, mm -hmm. then it negates or mitigates the powerful anti-inflammatory um, and anti-disease properties that it would have if it's just not tampered with. So just good old regular green tea. Right, and you know what, Danny, you can, you can tamper with it yourself mm -hmm. and, and really not do too much uh, Damage. Mitigating, right, <laughs> right, or damage to it. For example, if you, you uh, make the hot tea, and, you know, three to four minutes mm. is the best brewing process, by the way, ah. to let it steep. Okay. Uh, you can add a little honey, mm. but it's when you add excessive amount of sugar, mm. cream, that's going to negate the effects of it. But if you add a little honey, it won't tamper with it. But when it becomes processed or highly commercialized in the processing of it, mm -hmm. um, it negates any of the beneficial effects and disease preventing properties it may have as an antioxidant. And you can get the, the organic honey now anywhere. Right, uh, every, anywhere. Every every the grocery, grocery store, store has, it, has right. them. That's and absolutely it's reasonably right. Reasonably priced. Yes. So. All right, well, Dr. Murphy, thank you so much for being with My us. My pleasure, today. Danny. You can find out more about the Health and Wellness Center online at sheltonstate.edu or by calling 205 391 We'll talk about the Easter. Show.